And uh, this is the best possible scenario because the slope goes there, m, and the point, that's x1 and that's y1. So this is y minus 3 equals 2 x minus 1. You see where those points go in and then the slope goes in there. Do you see that? Yeah. Okay, so this is point slope form. So here's what you have to be able to do. One of the things you have to be able to do is you have to be able to remember this equation and substitute the values. All right, so. Is that good? Is that okay for you so far? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, we're gonna do more of these, but that's that's the first um, first example here. So let's have you do an example. Let's say the slope is four and the point is one comma two. I want you to write the equation of a line in point slope form. So y right. minus y1 equals your slope x minus x1. Minus x1. All right. Um, y minus Okay, so would it be like y minus two equals four uh, x minus one? Yes. Like inside the, all right. So then, like, how would I keep writing it out? That's it. You're done. And this is the hardest part is like, you're like, wait, I'm done? Yeah, you're yeah. done. That's all you got to do there. Now, there are a couple of, wrink I call them wrinkles. They're like little, some people call them warts. They're like little additions to the, uh, to the um, uh, problem here. Uh, so um, let's give you a new example here. Let's say the slope is negative 2 and the point is negative five, negative three. Yeah, that's some stuff I was kind of doing today. Or I mean okay. yesterday. Okay, so the, the, the thing that's hard here is that when you substitute this number in for x1 and you substitute this number in for y1, whenever you have a negative number, I always recommend substituting in parentheses. Mm -hmm. Especially especially when you have a, a subtraction operator in front of it. You follow that? Like, because, because it's minus a minus, you gotta, you gotta do it this way. Yeah. So now in some ways, this line is done. You're done, but most instructors want you to apply the um, subtract the, uh, the subtraction operator in here. And in short, you need to distribute the the negative into both. So why this becomes y plus three equals negative two x plus five. And this is the step where you are done. Okay. That's so, point slope form. All right, so I guess like the exception is like same thing, two minuses make a positive. That's right. So let's do another one here. Let's have you do this one. Let's say the slope is negative three and the point is uh, negative four, negative seven. I want you to write this equation in point slope form. All right, y, y, Let me know when you're done. All right, we'll do. All right, I think I'm done. Y plus seven equals minus three parentheses X plus four. Yes. All Perfect. right. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna make a little diagram here. Um, I really like flow charts. 
um, and and uh, I think they're actually really helpful for learning. So here is point slope form. We're gonna make a little block or, or circle for it. Mm -hmm. Here is slope intercept form. So the reason I've drawn it this way is it's very easy to go from point slope form to slope intercept form. And you do this by solving for y. Solving for y. Yes. OK. All right, so let's go back to this one right here. I'm going to copy it down. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask you to solve for y. So there's a bunch of steps here to doing that, but yeah, um, this seems but, like something we're doing today, where it's like solve for x and solve for y. So to do this, you're going to distribute this negative three to both terms. So all right, y. You have to distribute it to both. You can't uh, can't. It's not like a choice. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's not a uh, you know. It's 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 a uh, it's a both. Mm -hmm. Minus three x minus twelve. So then, what do I do after it becomes that? So you're trying to you're trying to isolate y. Solving for y oh, means getting. Okay. So we're going to subtract seven from both sides. So oh. y equals minus three x minus, minus 19. nineteen. Okay. Now, I'm going to write underneath it slope intercept form. This is slope intercept form. Okay, and a couple of things are very important. Typically, the x term comes first, then the, then the uh, intercept comes next. And the reason I say that is it basically the x needs to be first. Okay, so. Uh... So, so you're done, so you're done right here. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna do another example. And, and I'm leading you somewhere, but I, there's no reason to, we're not gonna go, um, we're, not, we're, like doing, we're like doing little pieces and then we'll put it all together as they say. Mm -hmm. So this is, uh, this is your next example. Um, I want you to solve for y. Solve for y, all right. Um, y minus two equals four x minus four, and then negative two, negative two, y equals four x minus six. Y minus two equals four x minus four. You distribute this to both. And then I think I heard you say a six, but you're adding two to both sides to undo a subtraction by two. Oh, so negative four. I mean, negative two. Yes. And this is y equals mx plus b form. All right. y equals 4x minus 2, y equals mx plus b. m equals a number. All right. All so right. Let, me go, let me go back up and grab, uh, grab one more here. Um, and then we'll, we'll switch to kind of another, another example here. Okay, uh, so go good. ahead and uh, I'd like you to solve for y or put it in y equals mx plus b form. All right. y minus 3 equals x minus 1. Plus 3 equals 2x minus 2. y minus 3 equals 2x minus y equals 2x plus 1. That is correct. OK, great. All right, so here, here is a, um, here's a more likely uh, situation or question. It'll say, if, uh, if a line has a slope of negative 4 and goes through the point uh, 5 comma 0, 
let's go 5 comma 1, 5 comma negative 1. Write the equation in one point slope form, two slope intercept form. Line has a slope of negative four. Okay, so basically you're going to be expected to um, make this a little bigger here. Um, you're going to be expected to move from form to form. So I'll just go back up to this diagram here. We're going to first start with point slope form. Okay, so it, what I suggest is always writing the one you're trying to go to, y minus y1 equals the slope, x minus x1. So see if you can write that in point slope form and let me know when you get your final answer for that. All right. Okay, um, so I got y minus five equals minus four x minus four. And okay, then so, to... so y minus, now this is x one, this is y one, so it's y minus a minus one, negative four uh, x minus five. five. Yeah, it's, it's it, because because the y one appears first sometimes that, that is something that, that does happen. All right, minus one. So then, all right, here, let me redo that then. <laughs> okay. Yep, take your time. All right, so I got y plus one equals minus four x plus 20. That yeah, y, well, no, 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 no. It's y plus one equals minus four x minus five. And this is where you stop. 4x minus 5. Oh, okay. This is point slope form. Like, like this is the uncomfortable nature of point slope form is that is that you don't distribute the number. Man, that feels a bit weird. <laughs> it does. It does. Because you're Less told work, your whole life, you're like, like keep going, keep going. You know, make sure you you simplify. Make sure you, you know, do all these things. Um, so um, that's that's done. You know, star, whatever you like. Okay, that's that's part one. Okay slope intercept form is to take this and solve for y. That's where you do have to distribute. Is that okay? Are you following that? Um, that that's where you do multiply this. Okay, so y plus one minus four x plus 20. So what would that be called? So the first one is um, uh, point, slope form where you just stop with the minus four minus four parentheses x minus five okay so so you have to do you, is it clear that you stop in this line for point slope form yeah i'm okay. just gonna write point stop there in point slope form yeah okay and then uh you have to solve for y we haven't we're not done yet but but that's the next the next step is to solve for y all right. So, uh, okay, let me do that real fast. So that's when you do distribute. That's when you subtract, subtract the one from both sides. So y equals minus 4x plus 19. Yeah. And that's where you, again, you stop, you know, we get, we got it. And then we're also doing something, I, I can't remember if it's, one of the names of these, but it's like you'd use that and you'd somehow make a graph like out of those numbers. Yeah, we can get to all that. We got to do this like incrementally. Like I got to build your confidence up doing, okay. you know, each one of these steps. All right. Um, what would the, like, so the graph part's still just called point slope form? Uh, the line, the line, the line. The line. Lines, okay. It's right. like, there's like three types of lines. You're okay. the one that's telling me that you play tennis, right? 
Yeah. So there's like different kinds. There's there's forehand, there's backhand, there's, I don't know, volleys, overheads. Like these are all tennis shots. Well, this mm -hmm. is a, this is a line. So there's all these different types of lines. All right. Okay. I, I got this on now. This is like what I was doing in class. Right, okay, this. perfect. So I want to do one more example like this, where all I'm going to do is change the numbers. And I want to mm -hmm. see if you can get through it. Excuse me. And then we'll, uh, and then we'll, um, uh, do another one. So let's give you a slope of uh, negative two and goes to the point uh, negative three comma four. And we'll, we'll do this, write the equation in point slope form and slope intercept form. All right. Um, y minus Wait, could you scroll up to the first one real fast? Or absolutely, the one right? absolutely. Okay, X and Y, X, Y. All right, you can scroll back down now. Okay. Thank you. All right, y plus three equals negative two parentheses x minus four. So this is x one and this is y one. Do you agree with that? Mm -hmm. So it should be y minus y one equals slope x minus x. Oh, minus you put the y right there. Okay, wait. You, yeah, you got to write the equation down like that. This is like your phone number. It's like your address. It's whatever. Like you got to remember. You got to remember. Got to remember. All right. I don't know. I'm not getting that down yet. You have time. There's uh there's no rush here. You'll get it. Um All right, so that would make this become y minus 4 equals minus 2 parentheses x plus 3. And that would be uh point slope form. Yeah, so we're, uh, we're so the, the correct answer is y minus four equals minus two times x minus a minus three, and then you distribute this negative to both. Mm -hmm. So this is your this is your point slope form that you stop at. All is right, that okay? that's where I stopped. So you you got to here, is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now to do slope intercept form, you have to solve for y. Okay, you have to take this line. Okay, which is in point slope form. And then you solve for y. So you're going to distribute the negative 2. Distribute the negative 2 and, okay. And then you're going to add 4 to both sides. And then that would be y equals minus 2x minus 2. Yes. All right, is this okay? Is it, are you following along, getting it? Um, yeah, I'm following along with this. Okay, great. So here's what we've I done. Don't remember, like in specific is like the number thing yet. Say that one more or, time. I mean, not the number, the uh, names of the numbers. Yeah. Okay, so we, we made this picture here. Point slope, slope intercept, solving for y. To, to put something in standard form, you have to go, you typically go from slope intercept form and there's there's a bunch of rules here so we need to cover those rules um, the first rule is that you have to get x and y on the same side x and y on the same side second rule and actually i need to write out something ax plus by equals c a, B, and C are integers. 
And another way to think of that is it, there's no fractions, no decimals, so on. They're numbers, they're like whole numbers, nice numbers, okay? Mm -hmm. And then the third rule is that A is positive. A is positive. All right, I'm gonna write those down. A. Yeah, that seems the AX plus BY equals C. Yeah, so we're gonna do some examples now and, and I'll, I'll go through each of these rules um, for you one at a time here. So let's assume I've given you, and I'm gonna, so here's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna give you all of our examples in slip intercept form, and then we're gonna go through these rules to get, to get it into standard form. All right. Okay, so Y equals minus three X plus four. Okay. So, um, Wait, I'm sorry, I'm having a bit of a brain for it. Um, so here, well, I'm going to tell you what to do. You're going to move all the, all the, all of everything to one side, okay? X and Y on the same side. And generally it's the left side. You see how AX and BY um, are on one side. So to do that, we're going to add three X to both sides. Oh, okay. So would it be... Uh, would 3x it be plus 1y one? One oh, okay. equals 4. Now notice, and I got to say a few things in the first example. Um, uh, the x comes first. The x comes first. All right. x comes first. So then, so we're done. We're done here. So now, now let's let's see why we're done. Okay, ax plus by equals c. The first thing I said is that a x and y have to be on the same side. Check. Okay, x and y are on the same side. The second thing I said is that a, b, and c three, one, and four they have to be they have to be integers. No fractions, no decimals. Okay. The last thing is that A, this number three has to be positive. So we got all of them. All right, so. So I don't, I don't expect you to understand this after one example, but <laughs> yeah, we're, gonna, yeah. we're gonna do another one and hopefully, hopefully you'll get it here. So, all right, let's say it's Y equals negative two X minus five. All right, so then two X plus Y, one Y equals negative. So when you when you add 2x to both sides, hopefully you're going to write it this way. 2x plus 1y equals negative 5. Mm -hmm. That's what I got. Great. So now, have we satisfied the criteria? The first criteria is that x and y are on the same side. Check. Mm -hmm. Second criteria is that a, b, and c AX plus BY equals C. All three numbers are, are integers. They're, they're not decimals, they're not fractions, they're integers. We're good on that, okay? Now we will do some examples where they're not, but we'll get to that, okay? Third right. thing is that is A positive, is two positive? Yes, uh, yes. So we got that. So it has to be positive. The leading one has to be positive, okay? All right. All right, so let's do another example here. We're gonna, we're gonna mix this up here a little bit. Let's say it's y equals five x minus five. Y, x, all right. Um, so, so the most common thing to do is to subtract five x from both sides, because mm -hmm. you wanna move left. Negative five x. You have negative five x plus one y equals negative five. So this is a problem, okay? This is a problem. Problem is that everything is good except for that negative five. So the way you undo this is you multiply everything by negative one. S multiply it all by negative one? Yes, so you're multiply every single term. All right, that actually makes one. sense. <laughs> if you think about it, it won't change the numbers, just the 
it'll just change the sign. So it becomes 5x minus 1y, 1y equals, equals 5. OK. Now, have we satisfied all the criteria? E yes. Yes. X and Y are on the same side. We did that to start. These are all integers. And, and A is positive. positive. All right, so let's try another one here. Y equals 4X minus 3. Okay, y so, equals 4X minus 3. All right. So I want you to put this into standard form. AX plus BY equals C form. All right. Let me know so when you're all good. done. All right, so I brought it over. So I uh, subtracted four from each, which left me with minus four X plus one Y equals negative three. And then Excuse multiplied me. it by negative one. So give me your final answer. With four X minus one Y equals three. Very good. So you can almost kind of like do this mentally. You can, but I'm giving you, I'm giving you the examples I'm giving you. And this is my approach to teaching that it's, it's different than what you're saying in the classroom is like, we're just doing one skill. We're not trying to mix things. We're not trying to synthesis. We're just trying to like, do you understand how to do this? And then, and then I'll give you a slightly different one and then we'll increment the difficulty. Um, mm -hmm. So, so we're getting there. So let's do, let's do a more difficult problem. Y equals minus one half X plus one. All right. Yeah, this is looking like this if I didn't pass today. Okay, so we're going to add one half x to both sides. You're like, I got that down. One half x plus one y, one y equals one. What is the problem here? Um, I'm is assuming this... you can't have a fraction. Right. So how do you undo a fraction? Uh, you have to multiply it, I guess. You multiply by the denominator or the least common uh, multiple of the dom denominator. All right, so if it was like four and 14, I would do 14 instead of four. Well, that's like, so like, I think what I heard, like, let's say it was three, something over three and something over four, mm -hmm. you, you would multiply by 12 to clear both of them. Okay. But and then when uh, it was like one fifth, it would, the five would be on the outside, the one. Yes, yes. So you're gonna multiply everything by two. So you get one X plus two Y equals two. One x plus two y equals two. Okay, and then that would just be the answer, right? That's your answer here. So let All me right. have you try one here. Y equals minus three fourths x plus four. Okay. Um, So then it would be would it be twelve x plus one y equals twelve? So let me let me just work through this here. So when you when you add this to the other side, you get three fourths x plus one y equals four. And then you're gonna multiply everything by four. The reason by four is because that's the denominator here. So you multiply oh, that, 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 and that. Now in the first, in the example, the first one, it, it clears the, the denominator. So it's three X plus four Y oh, equals, equals 16. All right. I forgot to make the Y a four and I made the, uh, I don't know why, but I multiplied the uh, three, four times. So I don't really know why I did that. And then That's I also okay. multiplied the uh, four at the end three times instead of four times. So I guess I just need another one. And I'll yep, we're going to do another one here. So um, let's take a look here. Um, y equals negative um, 4 sevenths minus 3, x minus 3. All 
All right. Multiply by seven. Plus. All right, four x plus seven y equals negative twenty one. Yep, you got it. All, All right, right. you, you said uh, you said negative twenty one. Yep. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna now we're gonna increase the difficulty here for you. All right. So I'm going to give you a problem. I'm going to tell you the slope is minus one half and the point is uh, negative four, negative six. Negative okay. four, negative six. So I want it first in point slope form. Okay. So let's try that. So this is, this is like, this is your synthesis. Okay. Nothing about this problem have you not already done, uh, but we're going to combine everything together. So I always start by writing the equation. Mm hmm Okay, y plus six equals negative one half times x plus four. Great. So now, now we're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna do the second thing, which is to put it into slope intercept form. All so right. you have to take this previous line and you have to solve for uh, solve for y. Okay, so I'm just going to mute myself. I just need to step away for 30 seconds, but give that a try. You're going to solve the previous right, one for y. Good. Remember, you're distributing this to both. You're going to move the six over. Let me know when you're uh, done with that. All right, sounds good. Okay, is it 1x plus 2y minus equals negative 16? What is slope intercept form? It's y, y. equals mx plus b. Mm -hmm. so you're just solving for y. Oh, shoot. I did a, a little over, did it? Yes. So um, go back and correct your work or, or see if you can figure it out, figure out where you need to be. But the, uh, the first step here is to distribute this negative 1 half x. Um, then, okay. then I got um, one half x plus one y equals negative eight. Okay, but but you're solving for y. Y is by itself. Um, so you're see, stopping. You're it? stopping. You're stopping right here. Okay. You're stopping there because you solve for y. All right. Stop there because I saw for why. Oh right, right. I just need to remember the like names for each one. I won't keep making that mistake. Right. So now, now you're going to put it in standard form. So that's why you. That's when you write it out. You say, okay, x plus by equals. Okay, we need to get x and y on the same side. All right, I'm going to add one half x to the other side. You get one half x plus one y equals negative eight. But, but, right? You got can. a problem. Yeah. I got a problem, I got a one half there. So you multiply by two. two. You multiply everything by two though. So you get 
one x plus two y negative sixteen. And then so you got to be really careful here because, like, like you had the right answer, but to the wrong part. And you yeah. know, your instructor might be okay with that, but you know, you got to, you know, you, you know, you got to know your differences. You know differences here. So we're gonna do another one. We're gonna do another one. It's, it's the exact same problem. One, two, three. Like I guarantee you, you will get a question on an exam that says to write it in each of the three forms. Okay, so let me make some changes here. So let's go negative two thirds and we're going to go uh, minus three, minus six. Minus three, minus six. Yes. So give that a try here. That number one is point slope form. I'll write it out here. Y minus Y one slope X minus X one. All right. All right, y plus six equals minus two thirds times x plus three. Perfect, okay. So now number two is slope intercept form. Slope intercept form. So it's y equals mx plus b, or what I prefer, solve for y. Solve for y. Okay, so give that a try, please. Um, y plus six equals minus two thirds x minus two. Okay, so here's another way of, of, of looking at this because because you're, you're you're really close. Is y by itself is y the only thing on one side of your equation? Oh, okay. Minus six. So y equals minus two thirds x minus eight. Yeah, all right, there we go. Just keep y all by itself. Y equals minus two thirds x minus eight. I agree. Okay, now number three, standard form. Okay, that's ax plus by equals c. So wait, that's called standard form. That's called standard form. Standard. All right. Believe it or not, there's actually a few other forms that are not used anymore. But <laughs> thank goodness. <laughs> you, know, you just got to know these three. All right. Um, All right. So again, you got to get x and y on the same side. Two thirds x plus one y equals negative eight, and then I gotta multiply it by three. And I have a question. So would I write the three before the problem or like after the problem in the in like outside of the brackets? Uh, you you can write it here, like this. Mm -hmm. You can also write on the left. It's really supposed to be this. You're supposed to be doing it on one side and then the other. Okay. But, but most instructors just want to see that you're you're putting it down yeah. somewhere. Okay. All right. 2x plus 3y equals negative 24. Yes. All right. Sweet. All right. Yeah. I'm definitely getting the hang of this now. Okay. So now... Um, I want to do the graphing thing in the time mm -hmm. we have remaining. So um, let's say I give you the equation uh, y, well, 
let me let me go back to up to our chart. Give me some more information here. Okay, so slope intercept. This is the easiest to graph. Slope intercept. All right. Like you want it, like if it's in that form, that's the best case scenario. That's the easiest to graph. Okay. The second easiest is point slope. But it's not, it's kind of easiest, but there's a little bit more interpretation you have to do. We'll probably, we might get to an example of that. And then standard form is the, the worst. This is the worst to graph. Mm -hmm. All right. So okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do slope intercept form first. So let's say it says y equals uh, minus one half x plus four. So I, I think have to do... what is the slope and what is the b value? Uh, Sounds like our very first lesson that we ever did. <laughs> I guess slope is four. Oh, negative one half x, and then b is four. So slope is the number in front of x. Mm -hmm. B is the other number. Okay, so you so, start you start with the other number to graph. So One, two, three, four. That's your y-intercept. This is your y-intercept here. Mm -hmm. So you start there. Your slope tells you rise over run. So the so negative that, one means you're going down. Down one. Down one, down right, right two. Right. Down one, right two, down one, right two. Now, you actually only need two points to form a line. Your instructors may want more, check with them. You, okay. nice, you wanna connect them. If you got a ruler, you wanna use a ruler. All right. like that. And put the arrows on both sides. Arrows on both sides, very good. You probably need to put X and Y. You probably also need to indicate like the one and one. Yeah, I got marked down for, they said like label your graph and I didn't right. really know how to like label all of it. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really lazy about that. But it, it, you're a student. You have, to be, you have to be better at it than than me, um, for this. So, uh, this is great though. Like if you if you understand this, you're gonna understand the next example. So, let's say we grab you graph y equals one half x minus two. One half x minus two. So, what is the slope, and what is the b value? Um, all right, the slope is one half, the b value is negative two. Very so good. you gotta go up negative two on the y. Well, that means we're going down though. Oh, right, down, <laughs> down two, and then up one, two to the right. Up one, two to the right, up one, two to the right. Up one, two to the right, and then so, make the two arrows, and then I guess label it. Yeah. And how exactly would I like label it to the fullest? Uh, you, you definitely want to put your like whether it's one and one, and then and then label a couple of points. Like this is a zero minus two. This is four zero. So just like the really basic stuff. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now this is really critical. What we did here is we extracted the the slope and the b value. I want to go back to an earlier problem. I guess we didn't do this, um, but we did some. I thought we did some of the first times we met. Sometimes I give you this information, you have to write the equation. Now you get the equation, you have to write the information. So um, it's like going forwards and backwards. So let's do one more here. Let's say I give you y equals uh, minus two thirds x plus six. What is the slope? The what slope is, the is minus two thirds, b is six. So you got to go zero six down two three to the right. Yep. Now I didn't cover everything as far as graphing goes. Like we we would just need more time to do that. Yeah. But, maybe um, but hopefully everything we covered is really really clear, which is mm -hmm. my goal. Hopefully you understand it better. Um, I would always encourage you when you get the notes here to go back and do the examples again. You always have access to the videos. Mm -hmm. um, you know, watch them. You can play the videos on 1.5 speed, or you can just, you know, scroll through them if you need mm -hmm. to, but uh, um, that, that should cover everything. So uh, thanks again for scheduling. I'll uh, send you the notes and the screen recording out shortly, and I'll see you next time. All right. See ya. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye now. Later.